this extend all these sides out extend it out extend the center to out and extend the bottom to out the reason why i'm doing only this is because i want to do the bottom first before i begin to talk about talk of the top now here we have six and five here we have one and four and here we have two and three now if you rotate it like this your six and five will be here six and five so you can now transfer the other ones just come to here to locate one and four this is one and four like this you come here you mark make an arc then you now take it to the next one which is two and three like this you come here and you mark the arc so along that point you draw a parallel line to this you can just put it like this on the line so that you can slide it backward you can roll this take it to the next one you roll this let me write my 6 and 5 here 6 comma 5 but this one will fall within the drawing eventually so then the next one is 1 comma 4 then followed by 2 comma 3 now let us connect them 6 and 5 here where is 6 this is 2 and 6 coming here so my 6 is here and 6 is here and this 6 meeting 6 then 5 is here 5 is here so meeting 5 here then 4 this is 4 where is 4 4 is here then here what do we have we have 2 and 6 we have done 6 and 2 is here you can see this is 2 then over here we have 1 1 is here so it is here then we have this we have not done 3 here this is 3 here and 3 here so this is you can see make it thin line for now thin line make it thin line for now don't thicken it you connect all of them together like that this that so that is the bottom now let us now do for the court section so similarly you transfer from this point this this and this with 45 degrees c square 45 degrees c square so starting from this which is one Do this one. We do this and we do for four. So we can now extend the line. We extend it. Extend the line. Extend this one two. Extend two and six. Extend one, no, layer one. This one, like that. So now, again, we have transferred this. Then you need also need to transfer all these points because this will be a one prime, two prime, three prime, four prime, five prime, and six prime. So you need to bring them also out so that we can transfer them. To the other side, this transfer three, four and one is already there. Transfer five and you transfer six. So now let us we move from from the bottom to six. We get this one from the bottom to six mark it here extend it to the next one which is 5 which is here put it and extend it 
here now extend it the middle is already there so extend it to 3 prime it is 3 prime put it here and mark 3 prime put it on it again and extend to 2 prime 2 prime put it here like this and we have 2 prime so from this point you now draw parallel lines to all these ones First of all, let me, let me use this. I think this will be better. Keep it like this. Shift it to this point. The row. Shift it to the next one. The row. Shift it to this one. The row. Take it to the next one. The row. Now, Taking the line, this first one is six prime. That is this one, six prime, followed by five prime, five prime, followed by one prime and four prime, one prime, comma, four prime. So this we have one prime, four prime. Then here we have three prime. This is three prime. And finally, this is three prime. Finally, we have two prime. This is two prime. So now to connect. Now this is one prime. We connect it to one prime. You can see one prime is coming from here, this center line. So that means one prime is here. Iqtarabat Salatul Maghrib. So one prime is here so so that we don't waste too much time you can see that over here one prime is connected to one and this is one so you can just connect this straight away it's connected like this now over here we have two prime and six prime two prime and six prime this is six prime you can see going to six prime so our six prime is here and we also have two prime along that line where is two prime this is two prime to be here so two prime is here and you can see two prime is connected to two at the bottom where is two at the bottom this is two at the bottom the one up this is two at the bottom so two prime is connected to here for now just make it thin line it's connected like this now 6 prime is connected to 6 6 prime is connected to 6 and where is 6? this is my 6 where is 6 here? Yeah. Mm, this is 6 this is my 6 so this one is connected like this you can see use thin line for now like that now let us now connect go to the next one which is 3 prime and 5 prime this line is 3 prime and 5 prime this is 5 prime this is meeting here you can see it going to 3 prime and 5 prime and where is 3 prime this is 3 prime going to this place this is our 3 prime now 3 prime is connected to 3 where is 3 here at the bottom so at the bottom is this so we connect this to this like that now then similarly this is 5 prime it's connected to 5 where is 5 at the bottom 5 this is 5 you can see 5 coming here this is 5 going like this going like this so it's connected to this you can still use thin line for now so now we have four prime this is four prime this line is four prime where is four prime four prime along the center it is here so you can see that we have our pentagon formed here i mean our hexagon so you join like this like this join 
10 so this this one goes here and this one goes here like that the reason why we have used thick line is because it's at the top so you see everything to be thick line now our four prime is also connected to four if you look at it this is four you can see it is four and four is coming here but this time this one will be you will take it as dotted line hidden line because we assume it is solid except you are otherwise told by the examiner that it is hollow you assume it is solid so that means you cannot see that portion similarly this one here from here this way you cannot see it it will be hidden line because this portion is covering this part and this face is covering this one the same thing applies to this one to be hidden line like that this face is covering from here to here and this face is covering from here to here so all other ones will be thick line so you can now take in this out this one like this in the perimeter like this 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 That is the auxiliary that is the auxiliary plan of the object you can write it very clearly auxiliary plan yeah now to draw the auxiliary elevation will be will be done in the next video so if you love this video please like it share it and subscribe to the channel thank you very much we'll meet in the next video